All right, Anthony on Air Podcast, back for another episode, brought to you by our good pals over at Hero Soap Company. Jay Sabs is here with us. You can hear her, but you can't see her. And Frankie C as well. Um, a little bit of a different start to the episode. Uh, we're going to be talking about Ghislaine Maxwell towards the end. We're going to talk Kanye. Uh, we're going to talk about Borat. We're going to talk about a road raid incident, but we're going to start the podcast you talking about what I say. Good. Did I not say road road rage? What I say? Ro- Do you have a problem That's saying it. it today? I don't Do you know. Want to say road rage. You said road raid. <laughs> road raid. <laughs> um, but we'll start the podcast with what transpired Wednesday afternoon at the Capitol. Now, obviously, everybody what knows do you mean, something happened. Something happened. <laughs> obviously, everybody knows what happened. So um, we're going to uh, skip past the obvious things that you already know. Uh, but we'll point out a couple of things that I, I found uh, interesting or um, entertaining, um, sad, I guess, a little bit. Um, so we'll get into all of that stuff um, to start off the podcast here. I mean, it, it certainly it was a crazy day uh, with the uh, protesters uh, storming the Capitol and taking things over and uh, everything that sort of uh, transpired today. But I'll tell you what, with all everything that happened you know who i feel bad for the most uh, oh hit, something's coming jets what fans is it? i feel wor- okay. jets because it's always because no matter how bad the world gets the jets fans are still huge gigantic losers so that is something <laughs> that we something always stupid was coming we just have to remember that i'm just saying you know like no matter how bad it is you know we know somebody that, that lost their job this year. They lost their home. They lost their parents. And I go, at least you're not rooting for the Jets. And they said, you know what, Aunt? You are a real true friend. See, there's people that have all of that going on, plus they're rooting for the Jets, which is just the worst of all. No recovering. All sides of it. No recovering which from that. I, I root for the Jets, Jets and it's, it's horrible. All right. So and the Mets, too, which is also horrible. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. So a couple things here, of course, uh, being an Internet pundit uh, that I am, that we are, uh, right. I, it's my obligation and right and, you know, job to make fun of the other Internet pu- pundits that get it wrong uh, and get it horrible. Oh, let's do that. Please, let's do that. So let's start with, is it Tommy Lauren? Tammy? How do you say this girl? Doesn't name? matter. I think it's Tommy. Oh. Tommy Lauren? I think. I think. She uh, tweeted this on November 3rd. On November 3rd, 2020, Tommy Lauren tweeted, if real Donald Trump were to lose, he won't. His supporters will go to work tomorrow just as we do every day. When Biden loses, his supporters will likely loot and riot. Tells you everything you need to know. Hashtag Trump 2020. That tweet Hmm. did not age well. No, that was a mere... Two and a half months no. ago, less than that. Two, no. two months and a week. Two months ago. Yeah. By the way, you could see me if you want now. No. Probably don't want. I'm gonna to, pass. But... Okay, good. Pass on. I, I, I agree. I agree with you. You shouldn't. <laughs> hey, there you are. <laughs> um, which, by the way, this is why. And again, if you want to know your old pal Ant's philosophy why I... on why I don't get romantic for politicians or political parties, this is why. You're, it's, it's always going to be a letdown. There's always go like I don't understand how anybody stands so strongly behind any of these people or causes because it will always come back to bite you in the ass. Always, they are not. These are not people it, that we should be modeling our lives true. after. Oh, that's why. You right. Should but if you have a cause, there are causes that are worthwhile. But there are certain, I mean, you know, the causes to cure cancer is a cause that's worth getting behind. I'm not talking about that. Obviously, you know that. Well, don't what are you ta- you're talking don't about bean dad me here, Frank. Causes, but, but then, you know, a lot of those overlap. I'm talking about I, I'm that's a Democrat. I'm talking about I'm a Democrat. I believe in the Democrats. The Democrats are always right. This, the, that, the, that. That is going to let you down. I'm a Republican. I believe in the Republicans. Uh, Donald Trump, Pence, this, but it's going to let you down. It is going to let you down. Absolutely. Yeah. By the way, quick poll to the two of you here and everybody watching and listening, because I was thinking about this today. Democrats won both the 
uh, seats in Georgia. I did not think that that was going to happen. Do you think it was Trump that cost the Republicans all this stuff that's been going on? Do you think it cost them those those two seats? Uh, you're waiting for my answer. <laughs> um, I, I I beeped. I blipped out. There, oh, you so did. Okay. Janine, I come I to you for the cunning, uh, you know, political commentary. That's what you're known for now. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I'm so well versed in this area. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I had no idea what the hell was going on today with the Senate. <laughs> Shoot me. See, I miss those days. I, see, here's the thing. I am not interested in politics so much. That's wonderful. I, I when wish. you when you get to talk about the Senate and Congress people, I have no clue what you're talking about. Well, you know what's Sorry, crazy? Sorry, you lost me. You know what's crazy? You go back 10 years and that was perfectly normal. For a New Yorker mm -hmm. to be like, I don't give a, why do I care who gets elected to Georgia? Who cares go back about Georgia? Six years. Yeah. Right. I still I still don't know why. People I still wouldn't don't know why. care. It's so crazy how everybody is so wrapped up in this stuff now. It's nuts. Because it's cool to be political now. Yuck. It don't, is. I don't it is. That. It's it's uh, no, it's, no, it's trendy. It's it's that's, trendy. Yes, that's it, not is. it is. not what it's about. That is not what it's about. Yes. No, you're it's, gonna about, see. it's about we have no choice but to pay attention now because the guy at the wheel is a nut job. That's why we're paying attention. Says the far leftist. I'm not yeah, but, far then, left. But, but then why are all those? I'm kidding. I still don't even know what that You don't see me but, doing anything weird. But I'm let me, Frank, let, right, let me stop you there, Frank. Let me stop you there. Please. Why do all the people that love him, uh, that support the president, why do they care? Right. It's the same reason. Because there's not this job. guy that no, they backed him <laughs> because there are I think there are a few reasons. One is he pretends to be a Republican, which a true Republican is not as No no no, but I'm guy. saying you said that people that people are worried about the, the nut job behind the wheel, but what are the people that that's are like why, this guy's not a nut people job? like me are involved and, and and paying paying close attention to politics. People like you, I but you, the, that's only fifty percent. I'm talking about what about the other? I 50%? can't speak for I can't speak for the other half. I I'm not on that that side. I don't. Hold on. I don't know. I want to get you on this. I want to get you on the side with good internet. That's what I want to do. You gonna what? I want to get you on the side with good internet. That's that's my plan. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. No, but I don't. Uh, support the guy no matter what he does there are people out there who say who not, maybe not say but who believe that he could do no wrong and no matter what he does he's right no but i'm not talking about that you said you said the reason why people Please. care about like georgia all of a sudden like races that nobody cared about before is because it, yeah. the, the... that's our that's my kind of side of it i feel like because they have to they want it's both no both sides i think for the same reason because uh, they want to make sure that their side is is the one that's kind of riding the ship in their mind, whatever their right, whatever their form of riding the ship is. They want to make sure that it's headed in their direction. So mm -hmm. it only came to light. A lot of this stuff, we got involved in politics. That's the thing I'll give. That's one of the few things I'll give Donald Trump. Go ahead. Uh, I'll give Trump is that he made us pay attention more. Because people hate pay him. attention more. No, not even that. No, not just the people that don't like him or hate him. It's also the people that do like him. I mean, people are more involved, which is great. But then is there it, are, of course, on every is side, it there's, there's. I liked it when extremes. we were all, all nonchalant. By the way. Oh, I loved it when we were like that. But we, we talk about people when, being more involved yeah. than ever, but still half the country just did not vote. <laughs> So. Right, exactly. So, <laughs> but, so the but more people voted than ever in history, which is such an American thing. Or we're, we're, did they? We're like, we're like, oh, this they is so did. great. But literally, the same amount of people that showed up stayed at home. I was like, nah. I think Matt locks on. I'm good. I'm good. Um, you gotta factor in kids and people who didn't, who aren't even registered. And Frank, listen, listen. This, you've either made an incredibly. Listen, you've either made an incredibly great point or I just flat out don't care anymore. It's probably the second one. Uh, Anderson Cooper had this to say while covering the riots at the Capitol. Completely unpatriotic. 
patriotic, completely against law and order, completely unconstitutional behavior. It's stunning. And they're going to go back, you know, to the Olive Garden and to their the Holiday Inn that they're staying at in the Garden Marriott. And they're going to have some drinks. Now, listen, uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm not a person who's That's known to defend the Olive Garden yeah. here. But, yeah, that was a little like why? That was why a little you... stereotypical. Yes, it was. Why are we dragging Olive Garden down? Why, what's so wrong with Olive a holiday like, in? Whoa. What? Olive Garden has to yeah, issue our, a statement now. Thanks. Our food is a little salty, but, uh, <laughs> you know, no need to attack us for this. We had nothing to do with this. I just we feel like good breadsticks. I just feel like the we execs over at Olive Garden were watching TV like, oh, this is so crazy. Oh, what the hell? Jesus Christ. You know. Come on. <laughs> Why bring our name into this? Olive Garden. All they've ever done is want to give people unlimited breakfast, uh, breadsticks and pasta bowls. Right. And salad. Right? And salad. Is it unlimited pasta, too? I don't mm -hmm. know. With a side of agita. There you go. <laughs> a lot of salt. <laughs> Sorry. Make sure, make sure your cholesterol is low when you go in there. Again, but that was Janine kind of, you know, it's stereo. It's a that's a little like he's he's talking about these people being, you know, rednecks and knuckle right. draggers and whatever else. Exactly. That's not a nice thing to say that Anderson Cooper said today. No. Yeah, no, that's true. But um, and again, you know, listen, I feel more comfortable defending the Holiday Inn than I do Olive Garden, obviously, for personal <laughs> reasons. But obviously. we've all we've yeah, all piled not six people yeah. into a holiday inn for a, you know, bachelor or a bachelorette party and, you know, and enjoyed the amenities of a $69 hotel room. You know what I'm saying? We've all done it. Sometimes that's, that's the way to go. It's part it's of Americana. Favorite. And you get there and you go, do you guys have the breakfast? I know we're paying $12 a piece to stay here tonight, but can we get a waffle in the morning? That'd be great. You know? Yeah, I don't trust that continental breakfast. I mean, what continent <laughs> we talking about? I mean, I think it's how, a stale did bread they fly continent. it in? Yeah, yeah. Is it from Olive Garden? Is it Antarctica, the continent? It's oh. the best is if there was an Olive Garden in the holiday, then that would make it <laughs> all oh, okay. You don't even have to go outside. That's exactly. Beautiful. I mean, right? Walk in with your pajama pants to the yeah. Olive Garden. I, <laughs> Are you okay? I can't see your face, so. I just, yeah, I feel bad for the, the public relations person over at Olive Garden Corporate that was literally going to leave early today, go get the kids from school, you know, have a nice, go get an ice cream. And then friggin' Anderson Cooper had to open up his stupid mouth. And now they got to put out tweets and press releases. I have to say, the commercials for Olive yeah. Garden make it look delicious. Yeah, I know, but you know it's not delicious. No. You know, I've only eaten there once in my life, and it was when I was a kid. So I don't, I barely remember, but all I know is what i've heard from reviews and stuff and it's just very salty all right my road rage incident after our hero mm -hmm. soap read my favorite soap in the entire world uh we by the way ourselves today by the way the yes. only thing that democrats and republicans can actually agree on is that hero <laughs> soap is a superior is soap. soap i love it we can't see eye to eye on anything else but that hero soap all the dems and repubs are like this is fantastic you just try to find something bad about Hero Soap. It can't be done. It, it just it can't be done. You buy one of these, they send a bar of soap over to the troops who are helping defend our freedoms. You buy one of these, they take a little out of their kick and they build a home mortgage-free for a veteran. Veteran-owned company made right here in the USA. Absolute best soap ever. And you can get a subscription. You can get soap sent to your home. What a great country. Every single month, save 20% by using the promo code Anthony when you order only order through the link in the description below appreciate the support i know our pals over at hero soap appreciate it as well i tell you we are in the lap of luxury when we could just have soap sent to our door every month we don't have to leave the house it doesn't get any better you used to have to do for soap back in like you know 200 years ago we all what did not you have to do soap. for soap yeah what do they have to do <laughs> something to a dinosaur to i don't even know invent it oh, okay. when was soap invented janine <laughs> He, he finally got corner, it. Somebody... Corner of my eye, I got that one. That's what did you said. have to do for soap? soap? What did your ancestors you do, have to have to have to do for soap? God knows when soap was invented, but soap I was doubt invented. It was readily available. I have it on Wikipedia right here. 1891. No, soap was invented in between the dinosaurs, right after Jesus, before the pyramids. Jesus. Take that to the bank. There you All go. All right. Done. All right. So, in terms of the, the Earth's existence, 
it's right we're right on top of each other it's so. right there it's it's just right oh, there yeah. with all of it yeah Done. Uh, yeah. it's just it, you're right though it's a great the only way the con- the world can get better is if the jets win a game and mitch mcconnell gets a fully functioning jaw those are the only two ways the, this thing's the can tall get better. order yeah i'd love to see that guy get a jaw that works that'd be the best <laughs> Um, <laughs> listen, listen, uh, road rage, road rage incident today. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Cause I Very love, good. I love road rage incidents. Well, Frank's yeah. McConnell was pretty good. I feel bad for the really podcast good? people though. It was very visual. It was very, I have, I have <laughs> no, I have do no you do trip. that for your wife before you go to bed? Oh, she would kill me. I want to eat you. <laughs> she would never sleep with me again if I did that. When Frank reads books to his wife, that's how he does it. He does it in the McConnell impression. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it was the worst of times. It was the worst. <laughs> of course, he's stuck on that face. And then the internet blacks out on me. By the way, can I say this about McConnell? In an, uh, I don't agree with everything that guy says. In an odd way, no. I kind of respect the guy. Stop it. Uh, here's here's why I'm saying this. In the last yeah. week or so, he stood up and was one. Uh, how many people are in this country? 360 million? 375 million? Something like that. He was one person out of 360 million people that was like, we shouldn't get $2,000 a piece. Like he stuck. And you respect that. And then, well, but, yeah. but then he turned around and said, despite his party, he said that the election was the people have spoken and he stood by that too. The guy stands by what he says. I don't always agree with everything, especially the $2,000 bit, but right. I, I, I kind of. So you, you're admiring the guy for being a human being. I didn't say you're admire. One time. One I, didn't, time. I did not say admire. I said, okay, you respect the guy for being a human being. When it calls for him to be a human being one time. The same way I respect <laughs> Ivan Drago is the same way I respect Mitch McConnell. That's a f- <laughs> I have no shit. I gotta say, Frank, that's kind of sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. I have no shit. I always think it's good when an impression turns sexy instead of funny. That's that's how you know you're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, do it to I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you two two thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> Why would um, we give you two thousand dollars? That's just gonna make you uh, use two thousand dollars for your family. So I had a road rage incident today. Okay, I love it. I love it. Now, tell me where you were. Tell me where you were. I was a little. Now, here, I have a, there's a lot to say about this, but I will say a couple things. You ever do? <laughs> oh God! You ever have a, a an incident on the road where you were just wrong? Like you were wrong. Yes, I did are. last week. Go ahead. And you last know week, you yes. were wrong. Yes. Yeah. And you All just right. laugh. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. I'm coming home, driving. I'm driving home moments ago. Now, all this stuff has unfolded throughout the day with the, you know, uh, capital. Right. Capital. I'm coming home. I might have, the capital. <laughs> I might have slowed through a stop sign instead of stopping. Okay. I Which might is have, somewhat normal. Somewhat normal. Which is what I do like, every if you, time. Go if ahead. You, if you're slow and you're doing like five miles an hour through or 10, I might have been doing 20. I don't know. Might have happened. Might have been in the wrong that way. Now, you're I, human. I was coming up at the stop sign where, by the way, it's a road where I know nobody's coming. There was right. a truck that I saw down the road, and I was like, I could jam on my brakes and stop. That would be kind of silly. Nobody's coming. I'm going to cruise through. Let me go. Right. Yeah, you kind of have to weigh the 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 trauma that it will cause you and your car versus are you going to hit someone? Exactly. Which is what I did. So, now, if there were people around, I would have been go going ahead. slower. By the way, I can see for a mile and a half. So, there's, you know, there's no there's oh, no danger. Right. So what do you got? Guy comes out of that thing, makes a right following me, which is odd because I live on a cul-de-sac and... Okay. Nobody really comes out of that one street to go towards the dead end. They kind of go out to the main road. I make a turn. I make another turn. He's following me all the way. I said, this guy oh, is no. this guy's following me. I pull up to my home. This Why guy. Why would you do that? In, an, in, a, in a pickup truck, I think fresh off a stay at Holiday Inn and a meal at Olive Garden, but I'm not 100% okay. sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 99% sure. Okay. He gets out of the car. In front of my no. home, 
and starts screaming at me. <gasps> what does he say? See, now, I thought you were going to be the one with road rage. Me no? too, me too. You know, there was a stop sign. So now I see him following me. I kind of know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm like, he must be upset. By the way, I live in an area where there are a lot of elderly people who complain about a lot of things. So this was an old person? This was a Elder? young person in his <gasps> young person. 30s, young? 40s. When I tell you screaming at the top of his lungs. Could you I'm take him? sick and tired of this. There was <gasps> a stop sign. Why didn't you stop pointing his finger? No, so I, what'd you do? I lower the window and I'm looking at him and I'm looking him dead in the eye. And I just, I don't know. There was something, you know what, you know when you, you know, like that, um, you know, when you could react one or two ways and it's either yes. flip out or you just get incredibly calm. Right? right. I was just incredibly calm. There was something in his eyes that I could just immediately tell. I could be just wrong about this that this guy was on Twitter or in front of a television all day, like having a- You, you kissed him, didn't you? Bad day, <laughs> no. Might've made out a little bit. But I, it just, you could see in his eyes that guy was just having a bad way. There was no way that anybody could get this upset over what I did that didn't have a whole day's worth- He was worth looking for a fight. He was looking for a fight. Months worth of stuff behind it, yeah. So yeah. I look at him and I go, he, he said to me, and then this is what he says to me. I haven't said anything yet. He goes, I have two kids and blah, blah, blah. He's screaming at me. And I looked at him and I said, you know what? You're right. I go, I have two kids too. I should have stopped. I said, I saw you coming. I made a judgment call. I just kept rolling. Nobody was around, but you're right. I have two kids. I would be equally ups I always said I didn't say equally. I said I would be upset too if I saw something like that. I would add a pass a comment, blah, blah, blah. Then why'd question. you do it? Then why'd you do it then? He's screaming at me. What? He was screaming question, at me. Question, why'd question. you do it? Oh. Were his kids? Were what? his kids in the car? No. No. No, his kids weren't in the car. No, I don't think so. So why'd you do it? Blah, blah, blah. I go, I go, I don't know. I just, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long day. Came home. I, I made a judgment call. That's it. That's the end of it. He goes, I'm sick and tired of this and blah, blah, blah. I go, I heard you. I go, you're right. What else right. do you want me to say? Right. He, he, blah, blah. And I could tell he was look. So he was like, look. So he, he said, he said, I'm just sick and tired of this. So I just sat there and I stared at him. You just go, I hear you, brother. Bring yeah. it in. And I go, and I go, I go, you made your point. Like, that's enough. And, yeah. and he literally, when I said that's enough, he literally started backing up, yelled his address at me, and he goes, I'm at blah, 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 if you want to do something about it. <gasps> what the hell is that? Got when, in his what, truck. You just told him he was right. What did he want you guys to do? Like, what the hell is that? I literally saw in his eyes he was burnt out, whatever it was. And like you like was looking for that like fight. And I was just like Yeah. First of all, I did do it. And I, you know, it it's not that big of a deal. But second of all, like I don't even care enough to be right. engaging with you on this. Like, you know, but I'm so Don't happy. tell Nick because Nick will go to his house. I'm not kidding you. I, I Dude, I'm going to his Did house. Did you Google his house? No, I know where exactly he's, he's two blocks away. He's three blocks away. And and I'm- Oh, you gotta go to his house. I'm going. You gotta get, him, get, get him a Hallmark card. Like a, you're, you're the best guy in the world. You know, be like <laughs> overly nice. No, I'm going, you know, you I'll, go, I'll go I'll go in a couple of weeks. Bag of dicks. Send him a bag of dicks. Go or ahead. go the Janine route and send a bag of dicks. That's nice though. Like gummy dicks or like real gummy gummy dicks. Okay. Yeah. Gummy dicks. Or pasta dicks. Because he'll be eating them as he's mad at you. He, he's such a dick, but these dicks are good. No, but I, I'm Ooh. gonna go I'm gonna go see him in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna give it a little are time. You? What? Let my man settle a little bit. No, I'm gonna go see him because you know what? Here's the thing. He wasn't wrong, and I acknowledge that straight up. But to follow me for two or three blocks and then scream the way he did. That was wrong. Right. That's nutty. And that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that yeah. we're going to, him and I are going to have a, a conversation about that for sure. This wasn't the time I, to have it, but we're going to have that conversation. 
Sorry. Go ahead, Frank. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, no. I have a road rage story when you're when you're done, though. But uh, I, I he gave you his address, which is insane, and then he just left. Yeah, well, that was what. That, so the crate. When I said that's an, I said enough. You know, I was like, I that like enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, first yeah. of all, if he would have talked to me, I would have, I would have been a lot more happier to to <laughs> really be like, I'm sorry. You know, I shouldn't. Have, you know, I said, I said you're right. I never said, uh, you know, you know. But well, men never say I'm sorry. So I would have apologized the guy if he was like, look, Incorrect. if he would have, if he would have gotten out of the car and said, dude, I got two kids. You went rolling through that stop sign. That was crazy. I would have felt really, really horrible about it. And be like, oh. you're right. But the I'm fact sorry. that he screamed made you feel like, all right, this guy's an asshole. Yeah. And I had he that just wanted validation. That's what the guy wanted. That was he wanted a fight. He was looking oh, to fight I'm right. with you. Want to fight? But you think I'm, do you think I'm, see that you weren't there, you didn't see the guy. And again, I don't want to be like stereotypical here, but he wasn't driving the Perco truck. Um, mm -hmm. I just felt like he, he you know was, he was driving a pickup truck. I felt like he was burned down from the day. I feel like this day took a toll on him. You feel like, like he wished he would, was there? Was he bigger than know. you? Uh, it, it, hard to tell because I was still in my car. I rolled down the window. I was sitting in the you car. You could tell. He was, you were afraid he was going to kick your ass. He might have had a couple of inches on me. All right. For whatever reason, I wasn't really, I wasn't really afraid. Because I, okay. I did have a moment where I was kind of like, he might take a swing at me. He might swing into the car. But I had like my foot on the gas. So I was like, that, that's going to become a real problem if he does that. You know, I'm not going to exactly. just sit there and take a punch. You know what I mean? So I, there was that moment where I was like, he, cause he did get close to the car and I was like, he's gonna, he might take a swing in, but I didn't, I, like I said, I had my foot on the, on the brake. I could have just taken off and I wouldn't, uh, you know. I'm honestly surprised you didn't have your phone out recording it like a YouTube. <laughs> Do you know what was so strange? When I, the first second he came out of the car, I looked him dead in the eye. Because I that's I just look people in the eye. I'm not af afraid, and I Ooh. felt I felt like bad for him, like in an instant. Because think about you how he had a rough day. We all yeah. get we all get that crazy sometimes. We all kind of lose our shit a little bit. Maybe not yeah. to that degree, yeah. but we don't chase people down in the car yeah. and yell at them like a agreed. Like a agreed. Not everybody does that. Agreed. Maybe not to that degree. Agreed. But. We've all Janine kind of been in that, that place. But... I just, I miss what you said, Frank. I'm sorry. I said Janine might do that because she's like doing one of these. Yeah. Janine's, Janine's a, she gets crazy. She gets absolutely yeah. crazy. I could get, I could get fucking nuts. Can you throw down? God, it's been a while since I've had a fight. I also, but by I... the way, I also feel like it's embarrassing for two fathers to be fighting. <laughs> like, I don't think that that's. I think that's embarrassing. I've never, I've never wished. The, sorry. Oh, stupid internet. I hate it. Okay. I've never witnessed a fight between two guys and thought either one of them looked cool doing, do, you know, never. participating in the fight. I always thought they both look like idiots. Yeah. Never. That's why my man. Stupid. That's why my man and I are going to have a conversation when this is all said and done. Well, um, Personally, I think when two men fight, year, it's I'll really be... sexy, but okay. Do you think fighting is no. sexy? Do you find that attractive? Are you one of those people? Movie fighting, maybe. Like fight club fighting. Chicks are broken, yeah. though. Chicks like Street it when like, a guy gets into I mean, a fight over I'll them. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. There's something about it that's kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. I'm just so you're whatever. talking about a regular street fight, two, two yes. people get in an argument and start throwing fists. But if it's two, if it's two or at least it's one hot guy, absolutely. What if the hot guy gets his ass kicked? Even better than I have to like, you know, help him. Yeah. See, girls are broken. <laughs> girls are broken in this God. instance. <laughs> in this particular instance, girls are broken. They're they have, um, they can't handle it. No, I, um, I actually had to break up a fight between two men a couple of years ago. And, yeah. and that's not it great. Was kind of embarrassing, though, too. Girls right. kind of get punched in the face when they try and do that. That's what's bad about that. Go ahead. 
It was at a car dealership. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me take a stab here. It probably wasn't a fist fight over a Prius or a Subaru. It was. Am I right on that one? It was a fight about how the. Was it about the undercoating? The, <laughs> the guy who worked at the car dealership. He didn't do something fast enough. So the other guy got mad and they started arguing with each other. And the guy who I thought would throw a punch first didn't. It was the car dealership guy. He threw a punch first. And then this guy went back to clock him. And I grabbed this person. that a hot? What? Was that a hot fight? No. No. Yeah, I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So she, people just listening there <laughs> missed that uh, Janine was nodding when she said no. I mean, if, okay. How about this? Mm. It was embarrassing. Yeah, exactly. They all are. Because and I was with the stupid. person who got hit first. Oh, see. <laughs> oh, my God. Who was it? Do we know them? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Gaetano. It was a former you know person who I worked with. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was just like, what, when, okay, so when you're a female, obviously, you don't want to get hit. But the Guys first thing when I was like, oh, God, if this guy gets hit and be, get, gets the, beach, the shit beaten out of him, I'm going to, this is going to be embarrassing. That's why I was like, come here. She pulled him away. Plane, so I did. So the car dealership guy got one shot in. And then you pulled the other guy away before he can get a shot in. I know. And then I think that person was mad at me because he wanted to get a shot in. Wow. You know? How how good was that shot going to be if, if you uh, were able to stop him? <laughs> oh, no. It was... Well, the person who I was with is not that big anyway. I mean, he could fight. Yeah, but, but I, I'm not. I'm not that big. But I, if somebody takes a swing at me, I, I'm taking a swing back. I don't think you or anybody else is gonna stop me. Takes a swing at you, you're down in one. <laughs> 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 me too. Exactly. I'm just well, saying. It's just, we're not trained to fight. Uh, yeah, between two speak men, for yourself, I think that's Frank. the only time I've. Between two guys, I think that's the only one I've. You know, broken up. You know, two men in their forties. It's okay. It's just embarrassing. I just feel like it's it's like a little bit, you know. Listen, if you you had too much to drink and something, okay, I, I the things are gonna. Ha- I still don't think it's great, but things are gonna happen. But if you're just too, if you can't, if you come to blows over a car deal, like, what, come on, that's crazy. <laughs> and you, but you know when like something, you know something's gonna go bad. When this person was like, "What do you mean it's not ready?" And the guy was like, well, it takes time. And he's like, not for me. And I was like, oh, God, this is going to go down. So were there like the managers come over and was yes. there a big hoopla? Okay. Yep. Did they come over and be like, I can't believe that little girl stopped you from taking it from making a swing. <laughs> did they come I'm over to little. your guy and be like, did that little girl hurt you as she was <laughs> taking you down? Was he knocked out? Did he, did he get knocked out? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> no. I feel bad, sir. You got punched in the face, and also a little girl tackled you. Are you can we get you some ice? <laughs> Not little. We'll, we'll take ten dollars off the car. <laughs> well, needless to say, the manager and the guy called the guy who I was with and apologized to him. Well, I feel like that's a free car. Instantly, he didn't get a car from there. He didn't. He got. <laughs> I hope not. Us. How is that not a free car? <laughs> How is that not that... an instant free car? Um, Ghislaine Maxwell the by, the, by the salesman. <gasps> Ghislaine oh, wait, Maxwell actually, story. You know why? Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Wait, I just said, I think that the guy who I was with pushed the guy who I, you know, the salesman first. That's the problem. I pushed him. Still, yeah, so that's what started hit, it. He got punched. Well, yeah, then he deserved to get clocked. Car. He get, he deserved to get yeah. clocked. 
By the way, just for all the really people for all the people that are watching, I hope you're all enjoying this digital waterfall that Frank has turned into. It's actually <laughs> he's going to show that. he's going to show up at Capitol next. Go ahead. He's time it's warping into there. <laughs> it's a Zen moment. I like to give our viewers. What were you going to say since I interrupted? Uh, Galen's story still to come. Sasha Baron Cohen still to come. Kanye West still to come. But uh, digital waterfall. Did you have a road rage story that you wanted to do quickly? A quick one. Yeah, I I worked at a. Uh, a radio station a bunch of years ago. Maybe we'll say this incident happened seven or eight years ago. Mm. And I was driving the station vehicle oh, in the God. parking lot. And I had a uh, fellow promotions person with me in the car. I won't say who. I think Anthony knows who the person is as well. But um, I was, was worried a- it was me for a second, the way he was telling the story. That's what I was <laughs> starting to get scared about. But go ahead. No, no, it wasn't you. Uh, oh, we're back. Okay. Um, so, no, it was a fellow promotions person. And there was an ordinary, just ordinary citizen in front of us, not a, not a radio person, in their vehicle, in their car. And they stopped at the stop sign. And we were behind them. And I got to tell you, we stopped for me, like a full stop for maybe three seconds. And the person I was with, I swear, at the top of her lungs screamed like i never heard anybody scream <laughs> move your car i mean like for a good 10 seconds screamed get the f out of the way Baba. i can't believe it. i mean just the worst things you could hear from someone's mouth oh no so i'm sitting there like this driving the vehicle the station's <laughs> car i'm like holy shit what the hell was that so the guy was still stopped we went around them and we went to the back of the radio station because we had to unload some stuff from the car. This guy followed us. He he followed you. I'm back here. Go ahead. This guy guy followed us to the back of the radio station. We were kind of trapped because we were right up against the building. The guy went right behind us. He gets out of the car, comes right up to the window. I roll it down about that much. (laughs) I'm like, uh, can I help you? And he looks at the, the person I'm sitting with and goes, now, was that necessary? <laughs> I, I'm sitting there. I had, a, you know, a, an important call from my wife. I was trying to answer my phone. And, and I hear, I mean, our wind, every window was closed. And he, this guy heard her yelling. <laughs> that would be me. That's how loud it was. And he's like, I'm sitting there and I hear you yelling. I look in my rearview mirror and you're flipping out. Like the car was on fire. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm just sitting there like, this is insane. I hope we don't get like murdered right now. And instantly she just collapsed. She was like, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. Oh, oh. my God. I'm so sorry. It never happened again. Boo. And I was like, oh my God, I can't with this person. Boo. It was absolutely terrifying and ridiculous at the same time. By the way, you can't you can't scream at people from the company car, especially a radio station that like Yeah, really. Especially one that has a toll free uh, listener line. You can't really get that stuff yeah. done. When you're easily identifiable. Um, Ghislaine Maxwell, this is a very quick story. It, it, kind of not interesting, honestly. But the one interesting, not interesting about her, one interesting thing that I found from this story that came out uh, a few hours ago, the FBI told the Daily Beast, well, the Daily Beast reported this, that the FBI tracked her using her GPS on her phone and data to narrow down where she is, where she was. When they arrested her back in the uh, summer, um, okay. she said that she had opened up a mobile phone account under the name GMAX. Now I have to change all my passwords and used it to talk to her sister, one of her lawyers and Scott Borgensen. They determined exactly where Maxwell was using this, de- Borg. using this device that functions as a cell tower suggesting a quote-unquote stingray technology was deployed. The equipment, which can fit inside a briefcase, mimics a cell tower and forces nearby cell phones to connect to it, allowing the exact location of a certain person to be captured. I found that to be the most interesting thing because it's like, we all kind of know the FBI's got some shit, you know, but this is like confirmation that they can just get any cell phone with a little briefcase thing and get all this information and find out about you or whoever. That's kind a of little a little briefcase thing. 
You just go to Google. Google knows where you are 24-7. You turn on your location. They tell you exactly where you are. I know, but... You're th- surprised that the FBI knows where you are? But they didn't I mean, know... To the point where, yeah. ...where she was in the entire country. They were able to narrow it down to one square mile, and then they literally, I guess, just traveled around this one square mile with this device waiting to, like, find that person. That's kind of impressive. I mean, I know it's yeah, like... But they're- they're decades behind Google. Google could narrow it down to one foot. I know, but if she wasn't on Google, you wouldn't know. If it wasn't a Google thing, you you wouldn't know where right. she. Every everything ha- every thing has a Google. Turn on your location, you're found. Uh, you're right. She I don't know why the have her location on. I don't know why the FBI didn't think to go to Google and say, "Where's Glenn Maxwell?" and just wait for <laughs> Google's response. <laughs> it would have saved them months, <laughs> months, <laughs> years, years, maybe. Yeah, but I just I found that to be just fascinating as hell that that would come out that that would be a part of scary. A little that bit cool that that's how they found them. A little bit, yeah. There's a little bit of that scary stuff, and then there's also kind of that like kind of kick-ass James Bondy American like yeah, we could do any like we could find anybody like you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Google impressed me with that 20 years ago. Like you have to admit, between Ghislaine, Osama. And uh, who was the Iraq guy? What's his name? Saddam Hussein. Saddam. Yeah, exactly. We f- we fucking find people like we. Yep. You know, took took ten years to find Saddam uh, to find. Uh, eh, that's okay. Uh, what's his name? That's all right. Osama. Oh, Osama. Osama. Yeah. We got him. We got him. We found him. Found that son yep. of a bitch. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty good. Piece of shit. Um, Janine Sasha Baron Cohen says that he will not play Borat. Any oh. longer. Again, Come on. back to our Tommy, Tammy, Tommy Lauren tweet. I don't think this tweet's going to age well either. I feel like when, uh, you know, after a couple divorces, when he's, when he needs that cashola, he's going to be exactly back in that Speedo. Oh, I love him as Borat. Yeah, I but he's Borat. making a, he's making a name for himself doing some serious roles. Mm-hmm. True, very true. But this is such a beloved character like when he's like 60 and people are like hey you remember Sasha Baron Cohen people are going to be like do Borat do the Borat voice that's what we're going to yeah, be he'll, he'll do it at 60 I love yeah, it he might casually do it but I, I think he means he's not going to play him like in a tv show or a movie he should play him when he's like 60 years old I think he should keep playing him that's a great character it is a great it is. character I kind of hate how he, he he said in this interview with Variety, he's like, I brought him back just for the for Trump. He's like, after this, I don't see a reason. And it's like, you know, what about all our laughter? How about entertaining exactly. us? Exactly. How about caring about us, the people? It kind of drives me crazy when people get all obsessed over shit like that. And it's kind of like, I didn't watch the movie to see him shit on Trump. I watched the movie to laugh. And that's what I did. I, did, exactly. I laughed. You know? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I next hate time he, you know, Next time we have a, a asshole president, he'll come back with Borat and it'll be great. Next time. I know, but see, I don't want to have to go through asshole presidents to wait for another Borat movie. Well, if we could take one positive thing out of there being an asshole president, it's Borat. Oh, God. So you're saying that when Trump gets reelected in 2024, we'll get another Borat movie? Is that what? Right, yeah, exactly. I'm sure he'll be reelected at whatever, 80, 80 years old or whatever the hell he is. You want to put money on this? You think he's going to run again in 2024? I think he's going to run again in 2024. How much you want to do? Fifty. I think, I think at end of January we never hear from him again. <laughs> no, <laughs> no Frank, way. In the political, world, your, you, in the political says, world, I think he'll be wishes. I think he'll be sh- you know shooting his mouth off, but he won't have any political power, and he won't have any say in anything, obviously. And but, but he'll be he'll be done with politics, is what I'm saying. I'm curious to see if there's something that comes along that's better, like running a TV network. I know that rumor has been swirling around. That's maybe one I could see, but I don't know about anything else. But I will say, um, no, I won't. I forgot what I was going to say. It was good, too. (laughs) Do you want to do a 2024 bet? I really like the. uh, Oh, what I was going to. Oh, here's what I was going to say. I'm really curious to see if he upholds the tradition of when you leave the White House, you shut the F up for the entire time the next guy is in office. As Are we you kidding? Okay. Are you kidding me? All of them do it. This guy hasn't stuck to one tradition. He's going to stick to that one? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The last couple of weeks haven't really shown that he's going to do that. But I would love it if he did. A couple of weeks. But maybe today. Oh, never mind. How about four years? The last four years. And shut his mouth. He doesn't do anything traditional. He doesn't care about doing anything by the book. He, he just pardoned the turkey. He does his own stupid thing, and that's it. He pardoned the turkey. I, by the way, I lost 50 on that. I didn't think he was going to do that. When he didn't show up to the correspondence dinner, I'm like, there's no way this guy's pardoning a turkey. He's like, F all this shit. But he did it, so lost 50 there. I say 50 bucks. He comes back and runs in 2024. 20, you want to do 50? You want to do give me, bucks, give me 24. But you got to give me two to one odds. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Says who? You have to. I Come really on. don't. It's a bit of a longer shot on my end. You just said you were all confident. Now and now all of a sudden you can't give me two to one. You're all confident. Why can't you do 50? That's it. One, one to one. Mm-hmm. Clearly, Frank doesn't have the fifty dollars. If on, he runs, no, I don't have a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, I'll do. I'll go one to one on you. But does it count if he runs in the? It, it counts if he runs in the primary. If he doesn't win the primary, he, he can't run. The, he doesn't have to be the 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 what's it called Republican nominee. He just has to run. Okay, now define that. Does he say it on Twitter? Does he go on a show and say? Does he declare it? Are you happy with he that? He declares, I officially announce I'm running for president. 50 bucks? 50 bucks. All right, that's an easy win for me. Uh, what am I going to spend my 50 bucks on, Janine? What should we do? You want to go to dinner at Olive Garden and stay at a, a Holiday Inn? <laughs> right. Because I think I can get a room for you and your husband and me and my wife. We can get two rooms and a full Olive Garden dinner and still have 25 so, bucks too. left over to go to Target after. <laughs> You're not going to take me, you you piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> You're going right. to spend my 50 bucks with someone else. Janine, uh, you are our pop uh, correspondent here. What's going on with Kanye West? I don't I don't know anything that's happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's always good when it starts like that. Yeah. So basically yesterday, um, which news outlet released that they are separating, getting divorced? I forgot which one. Kanye and Kim. Kanye and Kim. Kanye okay. and Kim, yes. People, maybe? Mm, I heard divorce is imminent. Right. Okay. Meaning they didn't, haven't officially so, announced anything, right? Okay. Also, this TikTok star, forgetting her name right now, she released something that Jeffree Star, who is like a beauty mogul, okay, who often dresses like a woman, is romantically linked to Kanye. Okay. Now, apparently this girl likes to start things, mm-hmm. but people on TikTok took this and ran with it. Is this the same girl that said Odell likes to get shitted on? Yes. Was it? No, is and, it? And this, well, this is the same girl who licked the toilet last year. Oh, so then she's the totally toilet. reliable. Uh, I trust everything she says. Well... By the right. way, I didn't know who Jeffree Star was. I typed in J E F F, and Jeffree Star came up immediately. Mm-hmm. It's pretty pop. Is it, it? Does he go by he or she? I'm not. I don't know. I don't think. It, I don't think he goes he, by right? he, she. Right, just so he, dresses like a woman. He's okay. very, He's like one of the biggest YouTube uh, personalities mm-hmm. out there. Really? Mm-hmm. I have never. I have never. Uh, seen jeffrey well, star before but this is not what i was expecting no but i also want to point out this i'm loving this sort of joker motif of where like he can do the pink hair one day and then do the green hair the next day like the joker did like just i'll just match the hair like and like rodman too rodman had that whole little flavor going that's true well that's his thing he does a lot of uh different fashion things right or makeup yes. things I, like, um, like a beauty blogger, basically. I right. don't match anything and get annoyed when I just have to comb my hair. I can't imagine being like, what sneakers and scarf am I going to wear today so I know how to dye my hair? I just don't have the energy. In well, if, if this podcast was based on like you know beauty tips and stuff, maybe you would take a little more interest in your right. appearance. If this podcast was based and on beauty, beauty tips, tips, I wouldn't be on Follow it. me at... <laughs> um... <laughs> So what's really funny, yeah, is that the old Amber West, is that her name? Who's no, Amber the Amber, 
the Amber girl that he used to date. He used to date. No, not West, but Amber something. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Amber Rose. Amber. Did well, she, did Amber she, Rose, there you go. Amber Rose. Yes. One of her old tweets came up. <laughs> One of her old tweets? Yes. Uh-huh. What did it say? So when... I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on here. Yeah, you can. Sure. So it was her talking about how he used to like fingers in his... Catcher's mouth? mouth? <laughs> Hand? His butthole, okay, Frank. Oh, his butthole. Wow. Thank you. And when it was posted, I do remember when she posted this, and it was like a whole big thing because she she had was rumored to say that he was gay. Well, it's kind of like the Kennedy assassination. You always remember where you were the day you heard this groundbreaking <laughs> news. You know. So. So, I just thought that hey, was pretty funny. Hey, everybody has their thing. Right. That's it. So the rumor but, is that Kanye has been cheating. That, sorry, that Kanye has been cheating on Kim with Jeffrey Star. Uh, I don't know cheating. I don't know if it's just now. I don't know, but um, obviously they were not going to stay together. The contract was probably up. Yes, I believe a lot of people in <laughs> Hollywood do have contracts. Because I was just going to say, I'm this- not laughing. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a, if I'm writing the Kardashian show, this is a hell of a way to go out on the finale. Like, and, and Kanye right. is gay. Everybody like this is right up there with who shot Jr. I, I mean, right. that's, that's a twist. I didn't see coming. Yeah. Right. But so, then, you know, it, it's, is it as big as, uh, as their dad becoming a trans woman? That was a big oh, story. That, that was, was a big, big story. story. Yeah. True. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, OJ being one, Chloe's father. That would be huge. That's actually true. That's definitely true. What's true? I didn't hear what you he's said. Denied it. OJ being Khloe Kardashian's father. Oh yeah, I've heard that for years. Yeah, he's denied so, it. Then yeah. again, when can we trust what OJ says? <laughs> <laughs> the glove does not fit. So I tell you what I quick. love about Jeffrey Star, besides the matching the hair to everything, is he's he's just looking him up the whole time. Good. But but it's it's like a it's a female look, but sticking with the Jeffrey name, which I like. I like the right. whole. I'm not going to go along with anything here. I'm just going to do it all my way. I appreciate that. Right. Hey, so, be who you want to be. You know who else just, is like that? Funny. You know who else is like that? Harry Styles. Like I saw him do a whole thing. I think he was on Stern, and he was wearing like his grandma's doily around his neck. It was. It was. Hey, he doesn't give no. And you're supposedly, he is rumored to Olivia Wilde. Yes. What is that? Uh uh-uh, uh, boys. See? When a guy Olivia dates Wilde. a younger girl, all you guys are like, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to yeah. look up. The, dif- uh. the difference is she was in like a committed relationship with, uh, what's his name? Mm. The actor. The guy from The Hangover. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. I'm looking up Olivia Wilde because uh, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm telling uh, you right now, if she doesn't ha- if she's not matching her hair to her scarf, I'm going to be disappointed. She might. <laughs> She's very stylish. But Olivia Wilde was with, what's his name? From SNL. For a very- Pete Davidson. No, that was the other no. girl. She looks like that no. girl, though. That's who no. I thought you were talking about. Doesn't that look like the girl that was the, no, no, no. the old cougar? She's with the guy from The Hangover. He's, Hangover, he's from SNL, Horrible though. bosses. What's his name? Andy Bernard? Or Galifianakis? No. No. The other guy. No. He's from SNL. Remember Horrible Bosses? You got Jason Bateman. You got uh, Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis, yes. Sudeikis, they were together no. for like 10 years. Oh, yeah. And now she's and banging this younger guy. They oh. split up and she's Woo-hoo, with Harry Olivia. Styles. That's right. You got to feel a midlife crisis. You got to feel shitty if you're Jason Sudeikis. That's tough. That's that tough. Is. Well, Harry Styles. Yeah, I throw him a bone. But it's like when mm-hmm. you if if you if your significant other leaves you for like a rock star, like even if even though you're an act, like you, that's a lo- you lose. That's a loser, right? Who's there. like yeah. 20 years younger than you? Yeah, that yeah, sucks. That's hard. She definitely wins. She's winning that one. Like he would literally have to land Taylor Swift to get even. There's no that's the only way you you get close. Or Kanye. Or is it for- <laughs> Yeah, if Jason Sudeikis hooks up with Kanye, that'd be amazing. Forget about that it. That would be about it. the ultimate. 
<laughs> on that note, I have to go watch some more Senate hearings. All right, we got to go. Uh, it sure. was a uh, great episode. I hope you appreciated it and enjoyed it. I don't know why I said appreciate. It. I meant to say enjoy. You didn't have to appreciate this. Say appreciate. At all. You don't have to appreciate what we do. That's fine. <laughs> I hope you appreciate this. Um, don't scream at anybody on the road, no matter how crazy you get. Feel bad for the Jets fans. And peace and love, people. Peace and love. And tomorrow, maybe match your hair with your scarf. Let's see how that goes for everybody. Maybe we'll all be a little Jeffree Star tomorrow and feel better about it. We should do a hair, match your hair scarf podcast. Um, but Janine, last last thought. Uh, you think it's true? You, you think Kanye is with Jeffree Star? You think that's happening? Or you think just rumors? It could, it could be. It could be. It's possible. I was so wrong about uh, Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner. Bruce... Is it Caitlyn Jenner? It's Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Yeah. I got Jenner was the thing I was getting caught up on. Actually, I was like, wait, is it Kardashian or Jenner? Jenner. Um, I was so yeah, wrong it's about not that. Kardashian. I just I didn't. Be- I was like, this seems crazy because it was on all the tabloids at first. I was like, that's right. I, this yeah, is me too. Stupid tabloidy stuff. And then when it was true, I was like, wow, I was wrong about that one. Yeah. yeah. Family Guy called it like 10 years before it actually happened. And then so, and crazy. then Simpsons called Family Guy altogether. So the whole thing still goes That's back true. to the Simpsons. So Simpsons will always win. All right. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and or listening. AnthonyOnAir.com has all our links. Don't forget to subscribe to our Clips channel. You'll see the link pop up if it hasn't already on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, go watch on YouTube. If you're listening, appreciate that. Rate and review on Apple Podcasts. And we will catch you on the next episode. <laughs>